the first power. Alright, oh! Build our first village fast, because there is a tsunami coming! Alrighty then, hey this is Wentus yet again, I'm going to be continuing my let's play of From Dust. Whoa! That made me flinch, not gonna lie! Uh, as you can see, there's already a tsunami hitting, but we have this giant wall of rock in the way, so it looks like this village should be, should be safe. However, this totem... It, there's a few holes in the wall of rock, so I don't think it would be safe to build a village there. So, oh, we also have something else new to this level. Lava. This is going to be a big gameplay mechanic. Illuminate, to Illuminate totems do contain powers, though. I forgot about that. And that's what they were talking about just there. Rebuild the wall of lava to repopulate this totem. Yep. Lava, when you pick it up, it acts differently from earth or water. It acts kind of liquidish, but when it hits the ground, as you'll see here, it turns into stone. Solid. It will not be moved after that, so be careful where you put this. And also, vegetation cannot go on this. And one thing I sh I'm, I'm not going to show it off, because it would be very bad for me, is that you can, if you place lava or any fiery thing near plants, the plants will burst into plants will burst into flames, and the fire will spread very quickly and burn down your villages. So not good. And that's why I was talking about plants actually being bad for you, except for getting 100%. As you can see there, we have repel water, which is definitely going to be something we want. But um, for now, we're just going to do what they said, and oh, I'm pressing. Oh, that's what it is. If I hit, click both mouse buttons at the same time. Okay, if I hold right click and then click with the left click, then it... Okay, I see now, I see. That explains how I did it earlier, because I was hitting both of them, like, at the same time. Ooh, that sound doesn't sound good. Oh, we're having a volcano erupting, it sounds like. The volcanoes will erupt and basically spew out more lava from time to time, which can be very bad for you. Typically, it will warn you about this in most levels, but in this one, it doesn't really bother because, well, that lava's probably not going to be trouble for you unless you just place it next to your village. So, let's... looks like that hole is pretty high up enough. So, let's just have that next hole covered up and then let's tell our people to get over there. Uh, by the time they get there, it's... We, actually, we might be able to test to see if this w is tsunami proof. So, let's try it out. And also, that whole thing of dropping it all at once very useful for t saving time and there will be several quick decisions you'll have to make throughout the game. So, let's get this last bit of wall covered up and let's see if this can withstand, withstand a tsunami. Because unlike Earth, stone does not move, so this tsunami can't really do much about it. Hmm. And our, our villagers seem to be doing fine over here. I'm gonna take some of this excess earth around here and spread it across the ground in order to give the plants more room to grow. Uh, so, the tsunami's coming in. Actually, I'm fairly confident, so jellify water. That's interesting. Let's see if they can build a village here and have it be safe. Oh, there was someone randomly walking around the island. That's convenient. Well, that tsunami doesn't seem to be anywhere near as tall as our wall we have here, so I think we're going to be safe. Looks like it didn't even do a thing. So tsunamis are no longer an issue for us, but other forms of water could be. And one thing you may notice, there's a third totem over here. And this massive flowing flow of water here in our way. So that water's not going to stop flowing. It's from an infinite source. So there's not really much we can do about it. Hmm, that could be a problem. Especially if it starts to interfere with our villages. So we're probably going to want to get repel water quickly. So, to do that, we're just going to do things the easy way. Oh! Oh, we've become capable of wielding amazing powers. That is true. That's actually how we're going to get gel... That we're going to use jellify water to get repel water next. I mean, technically we're supposed to use it to get the next 
uh, totem, but also I'd like to get repel water because I'd like to play things safe. So let's click on it and have our villager find his path. We always want to check his path to see what's the best thing to do. As you can see, as you can see, you can make it just about all the way there, except for the last bit. Now I could just block this up with lava and just make it so that it's not covered in water all the time, but I'm going to show off Jellify Water instead, which is our first of our big abilities. Now, as the name implies, it does do something to the water, and you'll see exactly what as soon as he gets there and starts calling for help. Now, wait for it. Also, I hope the tsunami won't get in the way. That could be a problem. Because the repel water ability does not help them when they're just running around. It only helps villages. So, as you see, you can't quite make it. So what we're going to do is activate Jellify Water. This makes it so that all water in on this island will act as a solid. As you can see, we put it down and it stays up. Giving him enough time to move through there and grab the ability and walk away. Also, as you can see, we can just pick up the water here and set it anywhere we want. And we can even get at the earth underneath. Quite interesting. And as you can imagine, very useful. Also, one thing we're going to make sure not to do is not connect the earth to the lava, because that would be a problem for us, because that would probably burn all of our trees along with our villages. Because our villages are not fireproof. As you can see, they're made of wood. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Let's try to grab some earth that's less likely to... Uh, no, that's not less likely at all. I'm just going to connect this here. And as you can see, Jellify Water lasts quite a while. So, definitely useful. Make Use your time wisely, though. Also, I'm just going to give an example of what it's like when the water goes back to normal. It just flows back into place, and everything acts as a liquid again. And it has a cooldown time, so we have to wait for it to recharge before we can use it again. That way, we can't just spam it and keep the world's water constantly solid. Which would be useful, but completely broken. So, uh, there's plenty of earth around this volcano here that we do not want to be over there. We want that water to be elsewhere. Also, I should warn about Jellify Water. It kind of builds up with these source water things here. It can make it so that you'll suddenly get a flood of water coming through your world. Which can be problematic. So, be careful with water. All of your abilities can backfire on you if done incorrectly. Which I often do them incorrectly, so, yeah, that's a thing. I just realized something. That totem thing I saw during the last level, that was the repel water ability, not something important. I feel stupid. Oh well. Uh, let's see, let's just cover a bit more of this earth with, uh, or a bit more of this rock with earth. This is one of the more difficult levels to completely cover. But, uh, I think what we should do now is get this next thing covered so that we can start covering this next island with plants and be able to leave the level eventually. Whoa. Camera acts a bit weird sometimes, I should mention. But, oh well, no biggie. Let's see, um... So, this is going to be where we're going to show off what Jellify Water is typically used for. Ooh, it sounds like that tsunami's getting close. Whoa, and it also sounds like a volcano is erupting. But, as I said already, volcanoes erupting on this particular level are not a threat. They are just kind of there to be there. I guess you could say it's warning of things to come. Again, bad memories of really difficult levels. So let's just jellify all this water and create a path for them across. Let's see. Do that there. Just... Okay, they got a full minute of jellified water to work with. Hopefully it'll be enough to get them across. That's... Uh, come on. You'd think they just walk across it, honestly, but that would be a bit too powerful. Alright, looks like they have a clear path across. We have parted the seas in order for our people to cross. And it looks like the tsunami's gonna hit while the water is still jellified. When that happens, it basically completely destroys the tsunami's momentum. Ooh. I just realized something that could be a problem. This island, unlike the others, is completely unprotected from the tsunamis. I could create a massive stone wall, but that would probably take a long time. I guess that's what the repel water is probably used for. Huh. Well, half the territory is now covered in plants. That's good, at least. Uh, let's... Let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can take this lava... Oh. 
uh, the villages have all been opened up, and the passageway forward is open. Oh, I think we may have a new lava spout, though. Mm, that'd be a problem. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, I hate how it rotates the camera because it completely throws me off. Uh-oh. That villager's trying to deliver repel water, but he doesn't... He isn't able to, because there's now water in the way. Ironic. So... What is that noise? No, there's not a tsunami hitting now. Whoa! There's that thing again. Alright, we've created a stone wall here to in order to allow our plants to cross safely. I was just trying to drain the water out of there, and man, that is loud. You can also put water into volcanoes just to turn it into steam and get it to go away. Also, that guy is staying dangerously close to water. But, we now have Jellify Water again. So, we can just clear a path for him. Come on, little guy. Keep moving. Come on! I don't care if the water is moist, if the ground is moist slightly. You can move across. Come on. How do you not see the path in front of you? Come on. There you go. I half was hoping he would die in the water in between just for being that stupid. Oh well, that's their AI. They will do that. You get used to it. No, you don't. Uh, oh well. Let's see. Is there any water on here? Yeah, looked like there was. Also, let's see. I think we should be set. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna make it long. Yeah, they're set. So now our villages are pretty much invincible unless we decide to burn the land to the ground, which I don't feel like doing right now. Let's see, there's tons of land that can, will be spread to by those plants there. Uh, we could probably just steal a bit of this earth, since they'll still have plenty of earth to grow in those spots, and just connect the two areas. Just make sure you steal earth in thin bits if it's going to get connected to anyway to cover up the stone. See, like that, it just created more more room for the plants to, plants to grow. Let's see, uh... Best... For this level, the best place to get, uh... Whoa. Uh, there's that again. Uh... The best place to get Earth from is next to the volcano, because there's a lot of it there that you're not going to be using anyway. Ooh. That could be problematic. There's another flowing thing in between us and the exit. Oh well, we can just jellify the water again once that we get to there. But, uh, Tsunami's hitting. If I'm not mistaken, that Tsunami would have wiped out this village if we hadn't gotten the repel water there. So it's a good thing we got it there. Uh, let's see. I guess we could just continue gathering all of this tons of earth here. Uh, let's see, it should be safe to... Yeah, we can just spread it across that rock. Completely safe. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally connect them to a volcano, which would basically destroy everything we've made. So, let's just get this this way. And that should give plenty of room. Um, hmm. uh, I guess I'll connect it here a bit. I just don't want to get too close to that volcano is all. <laughs> okay, so I might have been mistaken actually, because this wall seems to completely block the tsunamis. Convenient! Uh, so let's see. Plants are still spreading a lot across here, but not quite enough. Maybe we can take a bit of this earth over here as well. Where will we put it? Oh, there's tons of rocks across here. So we can just put it there. That'll make things simple. Also, I get the feeling this is honestly going to be a boring Let's Play, but I really enjoy this game, and I don't really care if people think it's boring. If you don't enjoy it, you don't have to watch it. And plus, it's just filler anyway, so... It's not, it doesn't have to be great. That's why I, I kind of wanted to do this as filler from the start, since I knew it wouldn't make that great of a Let's Play, but as filler, it's not bad. So, oh well. I think you guys will enjoy it. At least some of you guys will enjoy it. Oh, almost entirely covered in palms. And that... Whoa, did you guys just see those bugs rise out of the ground? I've never seen that. Huh. So, now the animals are back. I'll say, if there, they were ever to make a sequel to this, and I really hope they make a sequel to this because it's a great game. Oh, no. Fire. Fire bad. Fire is very, very bad. Which means we got our plants too close to that volcano. Dangerously close. So, not doing that again. 
Because that could have just burned down everything except for this village over here. The problem is, with that, this massive thing of water. If these villages burn down, I lost Jellify water. Then, well, there'd be no way to win this level. We'd be stuck. Whew, that could have been bad. Glad I noticed it. Gonna have to keep a better eye on that. So let's, uh, actually I think there's enough earth for the, uh, the level to ease, for the plants easily to spread enough to beat this 100%. So what I think I'm going to do now is just spread a little bit of more, more earth across the rocks here and tell them to head for the exit since we're about done. So let's have them go ahead over there and let's see. It's interesting. My frame rate has remained around 10 frames per second since I've been doing this. Even though my settings are at 30, so this I guess this is kind of a high res game. So I can see how it would bring things down. Oh, there is entirely covered in uh, palms, so we're ready to finish this. Let's see. So let's wait for our villagers to get to this little pro problem here, and then we'll just jellify the water, and we can finish the level. Honestly, one thing I have to wonder, only if only those five go through, or five, or, uh, approximately five people go through, what happens to those that stay behind? Do they just stay here surviving uh, permanently, or... I suppose that'd be what happens. So, ooh, there's a tsunami hitting, and a volcano erupting as we're leaving. So, I honestly, I don't think this is exactly prime real estate. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live here. But I guess... Well, also, I do have to wonder one thing. Before we move on, as you can see with the repel water places, well actually you can't see it, when they're repelling water people come out and start playing instruments. Same thing when they use Jellify water or any other abilities. I wonder, if they were like to be completely surrounded by water for extended periods of time, I guess the people playing instruments would eventually get tired and the village would have flood. So, that could be bad. So, well, <laughs> this has been Wentis. Hope you enjoyed this video, comments are always appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time for more From Dust.